I have invasive ductal carcinoma breast cancer and I am triple negative. Um, I have a grandfather who had colon cancer, um, an uncle who had colon cancer, another uncle who had stomach cancer, my aunt had breast cancer, and my father had prostate cancer, all of which are on my paternal side. So me having breast cancer was not the expected because usually it comes through your mother. My chemotherapy is every three weeks and um, it does take quite a bit out of me physically, um, even emotionally to a certain extent because the way you feel, you know, it's hard to get up every day knowing you're going to feel like crap. Um, and your kids having to watch you go through that is difficult. And when the nurses come, um, my little one, she can't stand it. She fights them to get away from me <laughs> to where my husband has to take her out of the room. But, I mean, it's it's a difficult toll on the whole family as a whole because my husband has to take care of me as well as taking care of the kids. What are we doing next? After well, I still run my daycare while having the breast cancer and going through treatment. And uh, I'm fortunate that I have a couple friends who will come and help me. And when they can't help me, then my husband is um, home right now. So he'll help me a little bit. Um, and we try and keep the kids in their normal routine, still doing all the things that we've always done, whether it be, you know, craft or playing games or doing circle or story time, whatever it is, we still try and keep their normal routine so that, you know, they're affected by this as little as possible. Having my mom and my friends there with me makes a huge difference, you know, emotionally it helps keep you up and positive rather than being down and it gives you that support that you need to have to go and to try and stay positive even through it, laughing instead of crying. So knowing that you're not going to feel good afterwards isn't easy, but at least if you can laugh through it, it helps you get through it. Sometimes at bedtime when we, you know, put them to bed and I kiss them goodnight, they have a couple questions about cancer and we talk about it and I'm open with them and tell them exactly what I expect and that, you know, I'm doing everything I can to beat this and that if for any reason that's going to change, they'll hear it from us first because other people are uneducated and as soon as you hear cancer, you assume somebody's going to die. So we've made sure to tell them if something changes, they'll hear it from us first. And you know that when this is all over, we'll have some better days and take a family vacation and do some more fun things that we haven't been able to do recently. Um, if I could say, I guess, one thing to somebody with breast cancer, it would just be to use all your resources that are available from the hospital to hospice to the internet to, you know, blogging about it, your friends, your family, whatever. Um, talking to somebody who's already been there makes a huge difference. The biggest thing for me is just to be positive and determine that I'm going to beat it and not let myself think any other way because I have way too much to live for and everybody deserves a lifetime so you just have to push through it that you're going to beat it and believe that until something tells you otherwise and for me I'm not going to believe that anything is going to stop me.